In high school, I discovered that my great-grandmother was in the Holocaust. All of a sudden, an event that had previously only been words in a history book to me became far more real. Since then, I have been researching what happened to her and her family. It wasn't easy, and at times I thought I'd finally hit a dead end. But every so often, I would find more information as to what happened to her. After many years of research, I feel it's finally time to tell the story of my great-grandmother, Rose Keurig. It was in Zonskowola, Poland that Rose Kurek lived with her mother, father, and seven siblings. And while getting ready to sell some clothes in the market, they learned that their lives would soon change. No, no, I swear, I heard it from a friend. They're saying Germany declared war on us. Apparently they'll be walking through our streets any day now. Pack up the clothes. We're going home early. Yes, Tata. The Germans had turned their hometown into a ghetto, and eventually they began taking people away. I want you to stay strong. Yes, Mama. Goodbye, my darling. The Nazis killed her parents on the train. And later, it was Rose's turn to be taken away. Im Osten! Es nicht von uns! For nearly three days, she traveled in the cattle cars until the train finally reached its destination. Auschwitz. <laughs> Although I don't have much information about this time, I assume she went through the usual process. I can only imagine what her first night must have been like. After less than a month, she was taken to Bergen-Belsen. The camp was overfilled with people, leading to a lack of food and an outbreak of disease. A few months later, she and 500 other women were transferred to another camp. She was taken to Aschersleben, a subcamp of Buchenwald, where she was forced to work in a factory. But the war was nearing its end, and the Nazis knew they were losing. The prisoners were taken into a death march in order to get further away from the advancing Allies. Rose was later liberated in Czechoslovakia by Soviet soldiers, and after her liberation, she was taken to a refugee camp in Germany. Uh, sorry about sorry, that. I, I didn't. Hi, I'm Moshe. I'm Rose. Rose and Moshe left for the U.S. and began their own family. It was there that they had a baby girl, Faye, my grandmother. <laughs> One of the main sayings to come out of the Holocaust was never forget. Never forget the atrocities, never forget the miracles, and never forget your origins. I may never know the full story of my great-grandmother and her family, but I could still pass on what I know. I could still tell their story and ensure that they're never forgotten. <laughs>